بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس آئی ایم جمیل احمد صدیقی ڈپارٹمنٹ آف بایو کیمسٹری ایف آر پی ایم سی ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو لرن اباؤٹ فاسفورس میٹابولزم ان اور باڈی لرننگ آؤٹ کمس ٹو ریویو سم امپورٹنٹ ایلیمنٹل فیکٹس آف فاسفورس No food sources, body distribution and its absorption from the intestine. To learn daily requirement, consumption, excretion and its normal plasma level. We will discuss the phosphate balance and mechanism of its regulation in our body. And also discuss the biochemical functions and clinical significance of phosphorus. Elemental facts about phosphorus. Phosphorus comes from the Greek word meaning bearer of light. As the most common form is the white phosphorus which is waxy and it gives off a slight glow in the air. It was discovered by Hennig Brand in 1669. It is symbolized as P. Atomic number is 15. Atomic mass is around 31, melting point 44.15 degree centigrade, boiling point is 280.5 degree centigrade. It is denser than water having density 1.82 gram per cubic centimeter. It is white solid at room temperature and it is a non-metal the group period block is 15, 3 and P block. It belongs to group 15, period is 3 and it belongs to P block elements. Oxidation number minus 3, plus 3, plus 5. This variability is because of the electronic configuration in the M shell which is 5. 2 in S subshell and 3 in P subshell. And these are the number of electrons per share. And this electronic configuration uh, is responsible for this oxidation number of the phosphorus. Food sources. The rich food sources are cheese and milk and other dairy products because milk contains the chief protein casein which is a conjugated that is a phosphoprotein containing the phosphorus. Meat organs including poultry, fish, eggs, they are also good sources. It is also present in nuts, beans and bread. Fruits and vegetables contain only a small amount. It is also present in the soft drinks added by manufacturers for tangy flavor and inhibition of growth of molds and bacteria in the soft drinks. The people consuming more soft drinks may have increased dietary phosphorus intake. Dietary deficiency is rare in Pakistan. Distribution of phosphorus in our body. Phosphorus is an essential mineral required by every cell for its normal functioning and it is the most abundant mineral after calcium. In the human body it is approximately 1% of its total body weight. Around 500 to 800 grams of phosphorus are present and it is mainly as inorganic phosphate. Elemental phosphorus does not exist in biological system. It is present in the form of phosphate and this phosphate can be inorganic or organic. Organic phosphates they are associated with organic molecules. About 80-85% of the body's phosphorus is in the bones and teeth as calcium phosphate mineral or calcium phosphate salt. This is a special salt known as hydroxyl apatite or hydroxyapatite 
and its formula is calcium 10 phosphate 6 OH2. It is made up of nanoparticles and they make the hard bony matrix along with the collagen of bones and teeth. About 10 to 15 percent present phosphorus is present in soft tissues mainly as organic phosphate as components of phospholipids, phosphoproteins, nucleic acid, ATP, creatine phosphate and phosphate esters of monosaccharides. About 5 gram is present in brain and 2 gram in blood. The one, around 1% 1 of total body's phosphorus is present in plasma and it is the inorganic phosphate and it exists in two forms monohydrogen phosphate or and dihydrogen phosphate. Inorganic phosphate is the major dissolved anion of intracellular fluid also. This is the diagrammatic presentation of the distribution. Elemental phosphorus in the form of phosphate present in the living system. It could be organic or inorganic. 85% around is present in skeleton as hydroxylapatite crystals, 15% in soft tissues. The cellular elements of blood, RBCs and WBCs, they are rich in organic, uh, organic phosphates, while the circulating phosphate in the serum is in the form of inorganic phosphate. Dihydrogen phosphate or monohydrogen phosphate. They are estimated when we estimate the total phosphate of the serum, serum concentration of phosphate level. Serum phosphate that is inorganic phosphate, 10% is bound to the protein, 35% complex with sodium, calcium and magnesium, while the rest 55% is free in the ionized form. Absorption of phosphorus. Dietary phosphorus is absorbed from a small intestine in inorganic phosphate form by two mechanisms. Paracellular phosphate transport, which is a passive diffusion, and so sodium dependent phosphate co transport system, which is energy dependent active transport. This is the enterocyte, this is the lumen, luminal space. This is the luminal border of the enterocyte and it is the body's blood part. Between the two cells, there are paracellular spaces uh, making the passive diffusion of phosphates, inorganic phosphates. The inorganic phosphates, they are co-transported with the sodium actively from the luminal border to the inside of the cell. About 80 to 90 percent of dietary phosphorus is absorbed. The intestinal absorption is enhanced or stimulated by parathyroid hormone, calcitriol, and decreased intestinal pH, acidic pH. An optimum calcium phosphorus ratio is helpful in the absorption of both these minerals. The if calcium in the diet is low, the absorption of phosphorus is low. So their presence of um, in a proportionate or optimum ratio in the diet is helpful in the absorption of both of these minerals. Overuse of iron or aluminum containing antacids, they decrease the absorption of phosphorus. Aluminum chelates with the inorganic phosphate while uh, iron makes the insoluble ferric phosphate salts. Daily requirements of phosphorus. The recommended dietary allowance. For in infants, it is 240 to 400 milligram per day. Growing children, 800 to 1200 milligrams per day. The RDA for adults is around 800 milligram per day while during pregnancy and lactation it is increased and approximately 
1200 milligrams per day of phosphorus is required. Approximately 3 milligram per kilogram per day of phosphorus enters into the bone. Consumption, excretion and plasma level of phosphorus. Phosphorus is consumed in the form of inorganic phosphate and organic phosphate. In organic phosphates, they include hydroxyl apatite crystal of crystals of bone, inorganic phosphates of plasma or serum, and intracellular anions of phosphates. The organic phosphates, they are phosphorus containing biomolecules such as nucleic acids, phospholipids, high energy phosphate molecules and phosphate esters of monosaccharides etc. Excretion of phosphate is almost exclusively in the form of phosphate ions from urine and feces. Urine phosphate constitute about 60 to 80 percent of total excretion and rest is excreted in feces. In plasma, the inorganic phosphate is filtered in the glomeruli of which 85 to 95 percent gets reabsorbed actively in proximal convoluted tubule. Its excretion in the urine is increased by vitamin D excess, hyperparathyroidism and high phosphate diet while excretion of phosphate is decreased by growth hormone during lactation, hypoparathyroidism and low phosphate diet. The vitamin D excess causes the increased absorption of phosphate from the GIT. So increased phosphate level is found in the blood which increases its excretion more from the kidney. Parathyroid hormone has got opposite effect. It increases the reabsorption of the calcium and decreases the reabsorption of the phosphate from the proximal convoluted tubule. So when reabsorption of phosphate is decreased, its excretion is increased in the urine. High phosphate diet has the same effect causing increased levels of the phosphate in the blood so more excretion in the urine. Growth hormone having the anabolic effect causes the deposition of calcium and phosphate and other anabolic activities requiring the phosphate so phosphate is utilized decreasing its blood level so ex excretion in the urine is also decreased. During lactation, the same effect, more is utilized, less is excreted. Hypoparathyroidism has the opposite effect, increasing the reabsorption of phosphate and increasing the excretion of calcium. So less phosphate is excreted in the urine. Low phosphate diet resulting in the low phosphate level in the blood. So less quantity is excreted in the urine. The normal plasma or serum phosphate level is in adult 2.5 to 4 milligram per deciliter and slightly higher in children that is 5 to 6 milligram per deciliter. The, when the plasma level or serum phosphate level is estimated, it is the inorganic phosphate, both monohydrogen phosphate and dihydrogen phosphate which exists in the ratio of 4 is to 1. But to differentiate between these two forms of inorganic phosphate is difficult. So total inorganic phosphate level is estimated in the diagnostic lab and in adult its level is 2.5 to 4 milligram per deciliter and in children it is 5 to 6 milligram per deciliter. Phosphorus homeostasis. The homeostasis of phosphorus is maintained by factors that determine bone formation or its resorption or destruction. 
the factors are parathyroid hormone vitamin d its active form calcitriol and the thyroid hormone calcitonin which has got the antagonistic actions to parathyroid hormone it is an overview of phosphate balance the absorbed dietary phosphate either is utilized in the bone reservoir or used in formation of soft tissues or may circulate in the body fluids where they perform the cellular functions and the excess or rest is lost in urine and feces hyperphosphatemia may be caused by increase gi absorption of phosphate increase bone absorption decrease bone mineralization or decrease urinary excretion all these conditions may lead to hyperphosphatemia that is high level of the normal phosphate level in the plasma the hypophosphatemia may be caused by decreased gi absorption of the dietary phosphate decreased bone resorption increased bone mineralization or increased urinary excretion may lead to hypophosphatemia mechanism of regulation of plasma phosphate level the plasma phosphate level is regulated with the plasma calcium level and three factors are responsible mainly that is the active form of vitamin d parathyroid hormone and third thyroid hormone calcitonin which is secreted by parafollicular cells or c cells of thyroid gland when plasma phosphate level decreases it stimulates the kidneys for increased activity of alpha 1 hydroxylase the enzyme responsible for second hydroxylation of vitamin d to make the active form of vitamin d which is calcitriol this active form of vitamin d is formed in the kidneys has got the effect on the intestine increasing absorption of calcium and absorption of phosphate in the intestine the increased phosphate absorption in the intestine results increased plasma phosphate level similarly increased calcium absorption in the intestine results in the increased calcium level in the plasma but this is counterbalanced by other mechanism so there is no change in plasma calcium level the decreased phosphate level is always associated with increased plasma calcium level because of the solubility characteristics of the calcium phosphate salt whenever plasma calcium level is increased the plasma phosphate level decreases and vice versa it is because of the solubility characteristic of the calcium phosphate salt so decreased plasma phosphate level results increased plasma calcium and increased plasma calcium inhibits the parathyroid gland so decreased parathyroid hormone is available in the blood this decreased level of parathyroid hormone decreases the calcium reabsorption by the kidneys parathyroid hormone has got the effect on the reabsorption of the phosphate and calcium on the kidneys when pth is less there is decreased calcium reabsorption by the kidneys while increased phosphate reabsorption by the kidneys takes place the net result is decreased level of calcium in blood and increased level of phosphate in the blood this decreased calcium reabsorption by the kidneys or increased excretion of calcium in the kidneys increases the urinary excretion of calcium this increased urinary excretion of calcium decreases the plasma calcium level which is counterbalanced with this increased absorption of calcium from the intestine under the influence of activated form of the vitamin d so this net effect of 
on plasma calcium level is counterbalanced and no net effect is seen. The increased phosphate reabsorption by the kidneys results in decreased urinary excretion of phosphate. When decreased urinary excretion of phosphate takes place, more, info, more phosphate is retained in the blood or plasma. So, increased plasma phosphate level is the outcome. This increased plasma phosphate level by increased absorption and decreased excretion, increased absorption under the influence of vitamin D and decreased urinary ex excretion under the influence of PTH results in increased formation of increased plasma phosphate level which relieves this hypophosphatemia. The third factor which is calcitonin, it is another hormone secreted by thyroid gland from the parafollicular or C cells of thyroid gland. This calcitonin is regulates also regulates the plasma and calcium level but by opposing the action of parathyroid hormone. So calcitonin is antagonistic to parathyroid hormone and they have got the inverse relationship so far their actions are concerned. Biochemical functions of phosphorus. Phosphorus in the form of phosphate is required for variety of biochemical functions in the human body. Phosphorus is essential for formation of bones and teeth. Calcium phosphate salt is the consti constituent of hydroxyl apatite crystals which are the main structural component of bone providing the hardness to the matrix in the bone and teeth. This diagram showing the long bone femur which is hard stiff weight bearing bone made, made up of type 1 collagen fibers. The type 1 collagen fibers are in twisted play, plywood arrangement giving the strength to the bone. They are stiff collagen molecules or fibers made up of collagen fibrils and in the fibrils there is a deposition of hydroxyl apatite crystals in form of nanoparticles. The nanoparticles of hydroxyl apatite crystals give the strength hardness to the bone and it is the biochemical function played by these crystals is by virtue of the presence of hydroxyl apatite crystals made up of phosphate and calcium. Some structural components are made up of phosphorus in the form of organic phosphates. For example, phosphorus binds with lipids to form phospholipids of cell membranes. Phospholipids are also structural components of lipoproteins. Lipoproteins are the circulatory form of the lipids and lipids cannot circulate in the body until and unless they are phosphorylated in the form of phospholipids and in association of with apoproteins. So phospholipids and apoproteins of lipoproteins are responsible for the solubility and transport in the blood. Phosphoproteins are a structural component of ribosomes. Milk protein, casein and ovovitalin of egg, egg yolk are phosphoproteins. This is the diagram of the cell membrane and showing different components carbohydrate chains protein molecules channels the main lipid bilayer is made up of phospholipids these orange heads they are made up of phosphate molecules because of their polarity inside the cell and outside the cell they face while the hydrocarbons portion or tails they are they lie inside the cell membrane so lipid bilayer of cell membranes made up of phospholipids is by virtue of presence of organic phosphates biochemical role of phosphorus in intermediary metabolism phosphorus is involved in regulation of glycolysis and energy metabolism 
phosphate form esters with sugars for example glucose fructose pentose and glyceraldehyde which are high energy intermediates of carbohydrate metabolism inositol triphosphate inositol is a carbocyclic sugar having three phosphate molecules which act as a signaling molecule in the cell membrane the formation and utilization of high energy phosphate compounds they require phosphorus for example adenosine triphosphate adenosine diphosphate guanosine triphosphate creatine phosphate they all contain phosphorus and they possess the high energy phosphate bonds and involved in the utilization of energy is phosphorus is essential for formation of nucleotides for example nicotine at nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide phosphate phosphate pyridoxal phosphate thymine pyrophosphate flavin adenine dinucleotide which all these nucleotides they act as a coenzymes in different metabolic pathways similarly cyclic amp and cyclic gmp which act as second messengers they also contain phosphorus in the form of phosphates several enzymes and proteins they are activated by phosphorylation and dephosphorylation reactions that is your covalent modification covalent modification of several enzymes and proteins by virtue of phosphorylation and dephosphorylation also involve phosphorus for example you see this diagram this is atp adp cycle atp releases releases energy and convert it into adp and adp get the high energy phosphate bond and captures the energy to make the atp phosphorus is also important for the formation of genetic material for example it is the constituent of nucleic acid both rna and dna making their backbone this is the diagram of rna and dna having nucleobases but the this helix is made up of sugar phosphates sugar and phosphates they make up the backbone of rna and dna the same picture showing the structures of these molecules the phosphate group of one nucleotide phosphate group of one nucleotide is attached with the sugar of the another nucleotide this is the phosphate of one nucleotide attached with the sugar ribose of the other nucleotide this attachment of sugar phosphates make up the backbone of rna and dna from which the nitrogenous bases arise other important functions of phosphorus are it is an important intracellular anion chloride is the extracellular important anion while intracellular the phosphate is the important anion mixture of monohydrogen phosphate and dihydrogen phosphate they constitute the formation of phosphate buffer system which is the main urinary buffer system involved in the hydrogen ion excretion in the urine phosphates are also involved in growth maintenance and healing of cells and tissues involved in muscle contraction responsible for the regulation of heart rate transmission of nerve impulses the phosphorus in the form of phosphate maintains balance and helps in the utilization of vitamins and minerals for example 
vitamins of B group, mainly the B6, pyridoxine, regulation of vitamin D, phosphorus is involved, iodine, magnesium and zinc levels in the plasma, they are also regulated by phosphates. Clinical aspects of phosphorus metabolism. Deficient phosphorus intake leads to rickets in growing children and osteomalacia in adults. Rickets is because of incomplete mineralization and in osteomalacia there is demineralization of the bones. The main mineral responsible is the calcium phosphate in the form of hydroxyapatite. The sign and symptoms have been taught to you in detail about the rickets and osteomalacia which are bowing of legs and other osteodystrophies. Serum phosphate levels, they show variations due to intake of food and its excretion through kidneys and there is also a circadian rhythm. The phosphate level, serum phosphate level or plasma phosphate level is decrease in the morning, is low in the morning and high in the evening. And this is most markedly seen in especially the chronic kidney diseases. Generally, the calcium and phosphate both are measured and the clinical conditions are interpreted accordingly. In primary hyperparathyroidism, plasma calcium is low while calcium is plasma phosphate is low while plasma calcium is high in bone tumors or malignancy the phosphate and calcium levels both are raised in kidney in renal failure when dialysis is completed it is also seen that for serum phosphate level and serum calcium level is raised in hypoparathyroidism, there is increase in phosphate level and decrease in calcium level. In vitamin D deficiency, both phosphate and calcium levels of plasma are decreased. When serum inorganic phosphate level is increased, that condition is called hyperphosphatemia. Excess phosphorus in the body occurs frequently and may be more concerned than the lack of it. The excess is most commonly caused by kidney disorders, increased phosphorus in food and soft drinks, and decreased calcium in diet. The balance of phosphorus and calcium in the diet is important. The, effect of, the effects of hyperphosphatemia are cardiovascular disease, diarrhea, poor digestibility of iron, calcium, magnesium and zinc and if high levels of phosphate are maintained for long periods then calcium phosphate may be deposited in soft tissue and that condition is called the calcinosis. For example, the formation of kidney stones. Causes of hyperphosphatemia. It may be due to factitious hemolysis or prolonged contact of plasma with red blood cells. If the technique of collection of blood is storage and separation of red blood cells from the plasma is faulty or poor, it may lead to hemolysis of some of the RBCs which may increase the level of phosphorus in the plasma. If dietary intake is more or excess amount of vitamin D is taken, then the phosphate level in the blood is increased. Increased release from cells in diabetes mellitus, glucose cannot enter inside the cell and it is not metabolized. Similarly, in starvation, there is non-availability of the carbohydrate to be utilized. The carbohydrate metabolism is decreased. There is decreased utilization of the phosphates so some of the inorganic phosphorus inside the cell is released and causes the increased level of the phosphates in the 
plasma or in the blood. Increased release from the bone during malignancy. The increased osteoclastic activities causes the bone destruction, raising the phosphate level in the plasma. Renal failure, the formation of active form of the vitamin D is decreased, so the bone mineralization is also decreased. Increased, para, increased level of parathyroid hormone, direct resorption, direct effect of parathyroid hormone on the bone, causing the resorption of the bone, and hypercalcemia and hyperphosphatemia may result. Decreased excretion in renal failure, phosphate is decreased in urine. Hypoparathyroidism, the phosphate is also decreased because reabsorption from the kidney is increased. The increased growth hormone level also causes the decreased excretion of the phosphate and retention into the blood due to its anabolic effect. Loss of appetite, anxiety, general body weakness are the common symptoms of hypophosphatemia. Hypophosphatemia may be associated with myopathy. The symptoms are muscular pain and weakness. In cardiomyopathy, may result in cardiomyopathy. That's the decreased cardiac output is there. And symptoms due to osteomalacia, that is bone pain and waddling gait is seen in the hypophosphatemia, long-standing hypophosphatemia. Children, occurring more in children, they may, children may show growth retardation, poor development of the bone, and tooth decay. Causes of hypophosphatemia, it may be due to decrease intake, for example, in starvation, malabsorption, vomiting, and decrease vitamin D in diet. It could be due to increase cellular uptake of phosphates from the blood into the cells. For example, in high dietary carbohydrates, when more carbohydrates are taken in the diet, the glucose is metabolized more and this metabolism of glucose requires the phosphates inside the cell for the phosphorylation of glucose, fructose, and glyceraldehyde. So phosphate uptake by the cells is increased, leading to hypophosphatemia. In several studies, it is shown that acute and chronic liver diseases may lead to hypophosphatemia, and most probably it is due to the shift of metabolism to the simpler macromolecules, that is glucose or carbohydrate rather than protein and lipids. There could be increased excretion of phosphate leading to hypophosphatemia. For example, the thiazide group of diuretics causing increased excretion of phosphate. Hypomagnesemia is also associated with excessive excretion of phosphate in the urine and increased parathyroid hormone causes the increased excretion of phosphate in the urine. Excessive and pro prolonged use of aluminum containing antacid may also lead to hypophosphatemia because aluminum chelates with the phosphate and uh, decreases this absor absorption from the small intestine. Internal redistribution is also one of the most important cause of hypophosphatemia and it is due to acute stimulation of glycolysis and glycolysis that is the uh, breakdown metabolic pathway of the glucose which requires phosphate inside the cell for the phosphorylation of glucose, fructose and glyceraldehyde. For example, in refeeding syndrome seen in starvation, anorexia and alcoholism, the Carbohydrate metabolism or breakdown of the glucose is increased, requiring more phosphate inside the cell. So phosphate is taken up by the cells in the refeeding syndrome, leading to decreased level of phosphate in the blood. And it is also seen in the treatment of diabetic ketoacidosis. When a patient uh, 
comes with the diabetic ketoacidosis insulin is given when insulin is given the insulin causes influx of the glucose inside the cell so the inside the cells demand more phosphates they get the more phosphate from the uh, blood leading to hypophosphatemia thank you